It's Sunday morning. We've kind of gotten in the habit of just filming our weekly video all in one day. Um, which I'm going to try not to do that anymore. I'm going to try to collect the stuff throughout the week. Where's Miss Feline? There she is. Late start this morning. I've been tired lately, so as you can see, my eyes are like horrendous. Um, I didn't wake up till like 20 minutes ago. I'm milking now. But, guys, Josh put in a latch system for our gate. That is so much easier, and we got a new shorter gate to hopefully keep all the goats from rushing us at once. Um, it works pretty well. Let's see if this will... I can make this work today. Oh, well, look at that, I got it to work. So, yes, I know you're hungry. Everybody's yelling because we're late this morning.
You done? I'm milking a goat. Take the camera with you and film how they run after you, if they run after you. Hello. Hello. I lost the
They don't want to. How'd they get out? being bucky. She's got apple shaking. Sorry. A tiny human apple. Josh left to go strain the milk, so I guess that means you guys are coming with me while I go let the chickens out. 
I'm not going to let the geese out, though. He can come back outside to do them because they like to bite me. They're lucky I don't make goose dinner. I'm sorry, you're getting a view of our yard right now. All of our trash. Quad plow. I'll take a shortcut. Have any of you guys have tried and true methods? I don't know if you can see them in the light, but this bush has like a ton of aphids on it. We got a spray that was supposed to work that we've sprayed, sprayed it like three times with already and I'm not seeing any change. So if you guys have a tried true one that you like, Come on out, chickens! <laughs> well, we got one egg this morning. Come on, little baby chickens! Those are our roosters from our last hatch. You can come out. Here they come. So this, I don't think I've ever actually showed you guys this. This here, let's zoom out a little bit. Like I know it needs to be clean, but this is actually a brood box we built into our chicken coop. Um, adult birds, like full size birds. A lot of our full grown chickens actually just came out of it this morning. Um, so it does fit full size birds. So if I need to, if like I were to buy full size birds, oh well, the garden gets a lot of sun now. Um, if I were to buy full size birds to introduce them to the others, I could put them in there <clears throat> and they would be fine. You can't really see in there now. Um, We'll do a little tour of the garden later. It's kind of too hot. It's getting way too hot here. I'm going to go get some corn and sunflower seeds for the chickens because we ran out of feed. We actually have to go get feed. It's another reason it kind of sucks. So this box here, don't mind the mess, this box here actually holds all of our feeds and I doubt there's a scoop in here the more I think of it for me to get corn and stuff for them no I don't see a scoop which means I'm gonna just have to do it by hand okay so um, we are gonna do a couple things today when we get back from getting feed and stuff uh, we have to clean out our chicken coop Will you sit nice? Not really. Um, we have to clean out our chicken coop. We have to... I really wish I had a scoop. Um, there's a couple trees Josh cut down that he wants to take care of. So we have to do that. And I have to trim the boys' hoofs today. They haven't been done in a bit. So we have to do those couple things. Um, and then other than that, we're not doing much today. Since our garden's planted, the gate's up. 
We don't, well, we have some stumps we have to try to kill over in this overgrown area. Because that's where our orchard's going next year. Um, but yeah, I'm not doing much today. Uh, I do have to find a spot to plant my grapes still. So maybe I'll do that as well and get those guys planted. And maybe I'll start digging out the beds in front of the house here to put soil and some compost in and plant for blueberry bushes that Josh brought me home. So maybe I'll do that today. It depends on how hot it gets. So. You'll have to excuse the brightness. It's very sunny today. Um, but we're back from getting feed. And we're actually bringing the one goose and the one duck we have left up to the little duck house because it's warm enough out that they can be outside for the day while their toe gets cleaned. So we'll take you on a quick tour of the garden here. Uh, here we go. So the pumpkin plants. All the little peppers. All the way through, back to there. The tomatoes. More tomatoes. More tomatoes. Uh, the bok choy. Surprisingly, this little stuff here. Bok choy is growing, so that's pretty cool. All the little pe peas. Got some peas fruit now, some tendrils there. That's pretty cool. Somewhere in here there is a pepper. There was. There was. That's usually how that goes. Oh. There. Yeah, right there. Got a little pepper growing right there. Look at that. Ooh. Uh, broccoli. First little section there. Uh, cauliflower in the next six. Some lettuce. Some more lettuce. Some romaine lettuce. Some more lettuce there. And then some more romaine there. The uh, blueberry bushes. The three of those. And then there is in this one here. The strawberries, which are doing very well, in there. Uh, cucumbers there, or lack of cucumbers. There's one cucumber plant. Uh, eggplant here. The tomatoes. These are the cherry, black, black cherry. the black cherry tomatoes. And then in this pile here, we have some left uh, potatoes. Potatoes. So. Two different varieties. Three. Russet. Three? Because Three. one's the russets, the purples. No, I didn't get purples this yes, year. Yes, you did. No, we didn't. No, we did. No, we didn't. We got the Adirondack purples. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. We did not. Yes, we did. And then the two Yukons. I think we did. Pretty sure we did. Uh, and then down through here, the carrots, which are these little guys here which means we need to weed out through here but carrots right through there straight down there the beets are on that side over there uh, let's see what else I don't think they are I don't think they are they might be though but no the, the rows are here the rows here and here so this is where we need to do a little bit more, like, prep work as far as planning goes and whatnot. So, there's a garden in a nutshell. We did bring out the little goose and duck. The little goose and the little duck there. The last of uh, 
or bad from this year. I know. When the other ducks are in the house, just kind of chilling in there. No, run around. Well, guys, we didn't get done as much as we had wanted to today. Um, it was just way too high here. Uh, I never thought I'd be ending this video on this note, but about an hour ago, two hours ago, Loki was kind of crying, screaming like there was something wrong with him. Went to go check on him. He was severely anemic. The uh, you know, he didn't show any signs at all today. He was fine. Um. We started trying to give him some treatments of B12. I gave him a little bit of ammonium chloride and, you know, in case he had urinary calculi because it felt like his urethra was enlarged and we hadn't seen him pee. Um, as soon as he got the dose of the ammonium chloride and the B12, he ended up having a seizure and he passed away. Um, he has already been buried. Uh, we don't know what happened for sure um and it 100 percent completely sucks um i was hoping to end this video on good news i mean i have good news to share but um that'll be the good news will show up in next week's video um i'm not going to share it now because i need something to look forward to and so yeah, we're not we're not sure what happened with him. Um, he just ended up having a seizure and passing, and he was fine all day. He looked really good this morning. He looked really good earlier when I was over there with the baby, and then I just kept hearing him crying. So I figured maybe urinary calculi. Um, and as soon as we started treating him, he fell over, had a seizure, and passed away. So. Until next week, guys, um, if you like seeing our content, please like, subscribe, and share our videos to everybody else you think would like it. Um, you can also find us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll link those in the description down below.